I love the idea of Chester the Cheeto's guy. Not a cheetah, just a guy. I really like that. All right, coming up next. You know, there's just a couple comics left if you want to stick around or not. That's fine. Uh, coming up next, uh, Matthew Duncan. Chris Gaffney, everybody. Everybody knew I was coming up. I guess they uh, left the front seat. I'm like, fuck that guy. I don't know why I wasn't him. So uh, I just flew in from Dallas. Boy, are my arms tired. No, seriously, I was gapping off the entire time while I played my It was actually kind of awkward when I woke the woman up next to me. Excuse me, your nose is running. <laughs> But I didn't have any porn. Speaking of porn, so I was looking at some porn the other day, and I noticed that you can apparently put your Twitter and Facebook account and link them in to your your porn viewing player, I guess. So, and I was confused. I was baffled, just like you guys are now. Like, who, who wants, like, John was watching Latin honeys lose their undies six. <laughs> Apparently, he likes it. <laughs> but, but you know, I kept thinking about it, and I was like, wait a minute. I've got it. This is the only reason this was made for the greatest practical joke ever. So I put my plan into motion, and I go over to my friend's house the next day. And we start getting drunk pretty early. It's like 7 o'clock. 11 o'clock rolls around, and we're really drunk, and he's like, all right, I got work tomorrow, I'm going to go to sleep, I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to pass out on your couch, because I can't drive, I'm drunk. Well, I'm about to pass out, and I do one of those drunk wake-ups, like, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> and I go and grab his computer, the whole fucking reason I went over there, I go grab his computer, and I, I log on to Facebook, auto signs in, I think I'm going. So I start signing in to all sorts of gay porn, <laughs> Facebooking it all, tweeting things like Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 blows, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think I've got the greatest practical joke going ever. So I close the computer, I wake up early at like 7, but go back to my place and pass out because I'm still tired. And I wake up later on and I first inclination is to see how, how, what's going on with this thing. So I text him, and I'm like, how does it feel, sucker? And he goes, what, my hangover? And I was like, check your Facebook, dipshit. I don't have a Facebook. <laughs> so, so then I do another drunk wake up. Oh, God. <laughs> whose who's account did I auto log into? Who did I fuck up? So I sign into my Facebook, 700 notifications, and 300 messages later, I realized I had pulled the greatest practical joke upon myself. <laughs> and I had a flashback, and I remember showing him and signing into my Facebook to show him my progress on farm, but I mean, uh, this really hot chick that I really saw, and I knew that I had fucked up big time. Um, so, did you guys know that uh, Michael J. Fox and Eminem are starting a new reality show together? No. It's called The Real Slim Shaky. <laughs> It's about their dog and them, Mr. Parkinson's. <laughs> Do you guys, have you guys ever been, you guys know what Sonic is. Have you guys ever had the Crusonic? It's their breakfast, you know, Sonic egg and cr croissant or whatever. But the thing I like about it is the Crusonic is just as effective as a colonic. <laughs> but tastes ten times better. So, so I just got the lights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you with just two, two real quick jokes. My first one is, is about sex and how interesting it is to me because some people, it, it just interests me how, how many different things that people like. Some people, for instance, like hand jobs. Some people cry during it. Some people like it rough. 
Some people will like it, you know, in the bath. Uh, you know, some people can only last 30 seconds. I have incorporated all of those things. I like to sit there in the bath and cry while I give my hand, myself a hand job that lasts roughly 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, and then my, my last little joke, I guess I'll leave you with, or I guess not joke, but more of a dose of reality. So my girlfriend and I recently had a pregnancy scare. Yeah, yeah, we were uh, walking down an alley and behind a dumpster and a boarded fetus jumps out and goes, Hoo! All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you all very much. It's been a great crowd.